the Gemini 3 just came out yesterday, so a bunch of people make posts about it. I couldn't help but feel a bit giddy and wanting to give it a try. So I basically ran a comparison test between Sonnet 4.5, Gemini 3, and GPT 5.1 High. So I'm going to share with you the results, also kind of the pricing they are going to inquire with these, and my general thoughts as well. So let's get into it. All right, so this is the first prompt that I tried. All of these prompts uh, have been one shots. I didn't want to follow up with different prompts. I just wanted to see what it can do straight out of the gate. So all of these tests also are with Vite and React. And the prompt was essentially create a 3D chess game and with three levels of difficulty uh, where you can battle against a bot. And you can also add a scoring system. So this is Sonnet 4.5 here. And it works. It works. It got it straight off the bat. You can move the pieces, as you can see. It works fine. As for the models, uh, they actually look pretty pretty good. Uh, as you can see, the if you zoom in here, right, not too not too shabby. The only downside I would say is that uh, the the black pieces here, there's no no lighting on them, so they just look pure black. So it's really difficult to see. Uh, it hasn't done the scoring system either on it, but at least everything else works. Uh, you get the status here whose turn it is as well. And you also get the highlights, uh, which also works really well. And as you can see, the positioning that you can move. So not too bad. I'm actually pretty impressed with this. Now let's go over to GPT 5.1 high. And this one, I didn't really like how it did the models too much on these chess pieces. Uh, they all pretty much look the same, uh, but other than that, it, it's it's pretty close to it. Uh, I guess the only like plus that it did here is that it keeps track of the timeline. See if I move the pieces, it tracks it just here. Uh, so that's pretty nice. But other than that, it pretty much works the same way. So that's kind of the little downside here is that the uh, the models just don't look as nice. Okay, let's see what Gemini three did. So here we go. This is Gemini three. Uh, as in terms of the 3D models here that I did, this might be on par, if not a bit better than, than Sonnet. Definitely better than GPT. Let me see if I zoom in here. Uh, they're pretty much, pretty much the same, I'd say. I guess the only pro here, I would say, is that the dark pieces you can actually see here because it has proper lighting on it. And also, as you can see, you have the, the letters and the numbers here for the pieces, which I really like. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much pretty much the same. It did like a circular thing here for your next move as well. Uh, it tried to do the opponent here and kind of the scoreboard, but it gets cut off. So that's kind of the, the negative, I would say. Uh, if I have to pick a winner, uh, I'd say GPT here 5.1 is, is probably the my least favorite one. And then it's kind of a neck and neck between Sun 4.5 and uh, Gemini. As for the pricing and for the speed, I was actually surprised how long Chan GPT took. So Sonnet and Gemini 3 pretty much took around the same time to do this chessboard, which was about 3 minutes and 20 seconds, something like that along this line. Uh, I think Sonnet was a slightly faster by like 10 seconds, but pretty much on par. GPT 5.1 high thinking took about five and a half minutes for some reason, and it generated almost double the amount of tokens to get this project up and running. So that was a bit surprising to see, but the overall cost for this specific 3D chess game was $1.4 for GPT-5. Sonnet was actually 0.5, which was surprising, and then Gemini 3 was 0.9, so 90 cents. For the next prompt, I wanted to see how well these models do with image detection. How well can they replicate an image? So I provided this Nintendo Switch 2, and I essentially wanted all these models to convert it over to an SVG. And optionally, as a sprinkle sprinkle, they could add an animation by taking these Joy-Cons and snapping them back into place. So let's see the results. So Sonnet, not too bad. I was actually quite surprised by this. Um, it didn't get everything right. For example, it forgot to add the circles here around the button. As you can see, they do have those arrows in there, uh, but it totally forgot the circles. Uh, it totally missed out on the lights here as well. And this little portion here that extrudes is just dark. 
Uh, but other than that, it is pretty, pretty close. Now, as for the attachment animation, well, <laughs> it just moves it and it just translates it and, and it goes behind. So uh, not the best one, unfortunately. Same prompt for ChatGPT. And I don't know what to say. I, I'm having such like coin toss results with GPT. It's either really good or it just terribly falls apart. In this case, it terribly fell apart. That looks nothing like the Switch. The Joy-Cons are massive. And then the screen is the size of your Nokia phone. Uh, as for the animation and the snapping effect, I mean, it just moves it a little bit closer. Well, let's see Gemini. I can't believe this bloody model. Look at that. That's, that's probably the most accurate one out of all of them. Uh, yeah, that's the closest it looks to a Switch. Now, I'll give it that. It looks more like the first Switch rather than the Switch 2 but at least it looks the cleanest out of all of them. Uh, the buttons seem right, uh, this portion seems right, and the animation actually properly attaches rather than going behind like we have in uh, Sonnet 4.5. So last place, I'd say it's uh, it's definitely GPT here. Sonnet second place, and Gemini definitely wins this one. For the next test, I did a prompt where I wanted it to generate a fitness dashboard here for us where you can track calories, your weight, etc, etc. Now I'm only going to compare Sonnet 4.5 here and Gemini 3 as GPT 5.1 thinking uh, it just ran into a bunch of issues and it didn't even compile. So I'm going to disqualify it because it is a one-shot test uh, and, and it failed unfortunately. So, uh, but it's pretty much gonna be like Sonnet, just a bit more purple. If, if you can imagine that, that's, that's pretty much gonna be GPT. Uh, but here it is, uh, this is Sonnet 4.5. I mean, that's all right. I mean, I just don't really like it at all. And this looks whack. I just, I'm so used to like, I can already tell what's AI cards and what's not. And this just looks like AI cards for me. It did do, recharts here for the graph so it's a good starting point i'm gonna add that to it uh overall pretty decent not too bad at all uh let's check out some other pages here we have the workouts so I did the filtering correctly here the animations are so wacky in my opinion uh but not too bad and you have the nutrition tracker this just didn't load up at all oh never mind it does load up okay there you go but you have this big empty space here um Okay, it is what it is. And then you have your progress tracker here as well that uses recharts. So overall, not too bad. These animations are just crazy. Uh, let's see the profile page here as well. This is a good starting point, I think. If you re refine some of, like you don't need an animation on that. Oh my gosh, why? Why would you do that? Uh, the layout here is pretty nice though. This is not too shabby. Uh, but yeah, that is Sonic 4.5. Let's see uh, Gemini. I must say, they definitely upped the like the ability to create UI. I feel like with Gemini three, uh, compared to this, use the same icons pretty much. So the cards look pretty much the same here. Uh, the charts here do look a bit nicer in my opinion. Uh, the heart rate trend as well. I do prefer that compared to this. Looks a bit cleaner in my opinion. The daily activity card is pretty much the same. They both got this anchor. <laughs> Look at that spinning, Jesus. Uh, see how the line goes? It's just all over the place there. Even on Gemini, it's just not aligned properly at all. Uh, but let me know which one you prefer. I do, do prefer this a tad bit more. Uh, as far as, let's see the nutrition. This is how this looks like. If we go to nutrition here, um, I actually may prefer Sonnet here. I do like this water intake like that, where you have the little squares rather than having this. And here it doesn't even work. See if I hit plus 250, doesn't work at all. So completely fail there. Here, there's nothing to click on. I guess you could click on this, but nothing happens as well. Uh, I do prefer this. And then you have the macro breakdown. We have the macro breakdown here. This one looks a bit nicer in my opinion. I do like the progress lines here though more than, than that. Uh, but not too bad, not too bad.
let's see what else we have the weight progress here let's compare it here to this um yeah overall a bit cleaner here you have these wacky animations so you do have a bit more content here but yeah not too bad uh as far as let's see the profile here I must say like the layout here for the profile, I do prefer Sonnet over this. Uh, I guess if you re refine this, this could be a bit nicer, uh, but I'd probably go with this as the starting point. For the final result, I wanted to see how creative it can get by giving it just one or two images of a website and trying to recreate it essentially. So I gave it this front cover here and also a section here like this and then I just told it, create all the other pages uh, based on the design that this website has. So use this kind of a template. I gave it this image as well, sorry. So three images, this as well. And then I told it to essentially fill in the rest. Uh, they, they do all look quite similar. But this is the page I gave it, well, three images from it. And here are the results. So we have Sonnet, first of all, and... <laughs> This looks probably the most AI-ish to me. Uh, if you look at the landing page here, it just screams this is AI. And the gradients it shows and like the blurring here, it goes orange on top of the green. It just looks weird. And this just looks super amateurish to me. Uh, as you can see, it just like tried to recreate it, but complete, completely failed. Uh, there's no animations as well. Uh, enough, oh, there is a bit of animation here, I guess, this fading out, but I wasn't too, too impressed with this. And then they used emojis here for the trusted brands, because <laughs> that's what you want to see. You want to see that little purse emoji on Chanel. My gosh. And uh, next up, we have Gemini here. And as you can see, this actually tried to get the aesthetic, which I really appreciate. As you can see, the font as well looks quite close to it and all these little elements now. Do I like this? No, not really. Uh, but it's it's a good start. I'd say that you got these animating as well, these little uh, badges, which is pretty cool. And look at the little uh, navigation here at the bottom. That's pretty much... Uh, they, they got pretty close there. I'm not going to lie. If you look at Sonnet, it doesn't even have it at all. So not too bad. Like the nav as well, how they did it. Much closer to the original image compared to, to Sonnet. Um, not too bad. Then we scroll down. We actually have some pretty decent looking animations here. As you can see, it did a pretty good job of recreating it from the, the photo I gave it. So you have the animating cursors here and you also have this little animation where the circle starts expanding. Let me refresh that for you really quickly. There we go. So not too bad. And then we got this section here as well. Uh, we got these cards, which look pretty all right, not too bad. Uh, nothing too great compared to the original that I provided, of course. Uh, there's this section here, right? This is a bit more uh, refined, if I could say that. Uh, but not too bad. It tried. Uh, pretty impressed with it. It didn't do any other pages, so it got a bit lazy. Uh, but definitely more impressed with this compared to Sonnet. As for ChatGPT, again, the landing here, I still think this is the best so far. If you look at this and then you look at this, but it did a far better job than Sonnet. And I actually preferred uh, some of the cards it did uh, here, even compared to Gemini. So here, this one doesn't look too bad, honestly. Uh, it did a pretty good job. You got the floating badges here. Uh, the trusted brands here, it actually animates. So I got to give it some props there as well. Let me make this a bit bigger here for you. There we go. So that's that's really good. Card section here looks all right. This looks all right. And that's pretty much everything that it did. So tough. But again, if I have to say, Sonnet definitely is the last place here. It's This is terrible. I would not use any portion of this. GPT don't like the the home page here but i would maybe consider actually taking portions of it this is a good start here this looks almost there maybe 80 percent there this whole trusted brands ad slap some icons on there and you're good to go uh everything else is, is meh not too good and 
Gemini. Again, you can argue that this is like closer to the actual OG website here with everything that I tried to do. Uh, and the landing page I feel like here is as well a pretty good start. If you just kind of reposition some of the elements, add a bit of finesse to it, uh, you are there. So I'll let you guys uh, kind of judge yourself. Uh, but again, this is kind of an early test. These are the results I got. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. I can definitely do a follow-up even with more models if you prefer. But yeah, really fun, really interesting stuff. Uh, it's crazy how this... Uh, damn. I honestly thought that it just felt in the last like year or so that we're kind of stagnating with the progress of uh, AI models. Uh, but with Gemini 3, I do feel like, okay, we are getting a bit of a step up. Uh, so it's just a welcome change. Let me know what you think. Catch you guys in the next one.